Hello and welcome to Linda's 144 Hobbies. Today we're going to do a unboxing of this awesome cross stitching kit. It is from a company called um, Ao Forest Embroidery. And it's a company in Russia, as you can see on the letters here. Um, I heard quite a lot about this company uh, for a while and I was like, well, let what's, what's so special about them? Um, so I went into, I went to their webpage and I found this kit right away. And to me, this, this is home. This is Sweden and the nature in Sweden to me. So, well, you know me, I just had to have it. Uh, I paid uh, 3,300 Russian rubles, which is about $55 American dollars. And I ordered the kit on the 6th of January and I live in Sweden. So uh, they sent it on the 10th and it arrived around the 29th of January, so about two weeks, which isn't too bad actually. And I've had this one for a couple of days now and I still haven't looked inside, but it's time. And I thought I would bring you along. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So the kit arrives in this cute little box. And there is some instructions in the back. So it's in Russian and there's actually some instructions in English as well. And it tells you what it contains, the fabric, which is a 32 count linen. Uh, it's a Belfast and it's hand dyed threads. Wow, nice. Uh, and there's some needle and the, the chart, of course. Oh, and there's two different charts. So it seems like uh, the chart is uh, divided into, um, yeah, it says fragments. And then you get a needle minder as well. And the technique you're using is cross stitching and straight stitch. So that is in backstitch, I guess. So I will have to Google that up. And then there's the picture again of the, of the design. Let me get my knife. So, are you excited? I'm excited. Nice, and I'm sorry about the shine. Wow. Oh my God, look at those threads. And how, look how nicely they're packaged. Here's the needle minder. I, I think that's so cool that they actually give you a needle minder, which has, you know, like the same uh, theme. Let's see. There we go. Sweet, nice. It's a nice magnet and, and the needle there as well. Okay. So you get a little uh, booklet, I guess. With some information. 
so it says how to cross stitch with hand dyed variegated threads okay so it looks like that they're showing you know different ways uh it looks as if you if you do each finish each stitch then you get this kind of result the leaf would look like this and if you go halfway that way and back the other way then you get a different result i didn't know that that's interesting and i guess if you jump around Oh, if you do the contour, uh, here it's the contour, so you stitch around the leaf and then you do the middle. And here it shows if you do double uh, with two threads. Cool. That information you can use uh, in other designs as well, so that's nice. It's a very nice picture, by the way. And here's the linen. I still haven't ever stitched on linen yet, but this felt very nice. Very nice and soft, but still not too soft. And I know that linen has, you know, the, the threads in the fabric isn't even like an even weave uh, but it looks very quite quite even actually so that's nice so uh, the piece is oh that's cool as well they've, they've uh, sewn the edges that's nice that I don't have to do that um, and looking at the weave, let me see if I can zoom out a little more. Yep. So the design won't be huge. So that's nice, nice as well. It looks kind of big on the picture. I think this project uh, will be perfect on a 11 by 11 inch uh, Q-snap. So here's the, um, the pattern. So I won't be able to show you all of the pattern, but uh, the one I have here is the one they have divided up in different parts. So I will show you a little bit. So this is a colored pattern. And then we have the big pattern. There's a little crease there, but I guess that's no problem. Yeah. So then you get the whole pattern and uh, it's also colored. Very nice. It's all the Swedish animals in here, which we find in the woods. So, let me just put it back here and then there. This one and this one. Now I just wanted to take a little closer look at these nice threads. So um, they're hand dyed, and so this is the black. They 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 feel very soft and smooth, and you get it on a bobbin card, and 
you get the symbol for the color, which is cool. They're so small, cute. And I don't know what happened here, but this is a variegated color. Nice. But these colors, I, I wanted to get them out for you so we don't get the glare. They've packed everything so nice. So I know that that doesn't matter once you start stitching. Uh, but when you get kits like this, this is... Uh, very tasteful for the eye, so that's very nice. I mean, look at these forest colors. They're just amazing. I want to scream and jump and everything, but my husband and daughter are in the other room listening, so I will just, I'm, I'm trying to be very calm. Look at that green. Wow. So I'm really looking forward to stitch this. And so this is uh, what a owl forest kit looks like. I guess the, the other kits they have uh, look the same. And it comes packaged very nice in this box. So if you want to take it with you, you can pack everything in this box and it's kind of protected in there so that that's very nice actually very nice so yeah I hope you enjoyed the the unboxing uh, of this kit so if you have any questions please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next time thank you for watching